Robert Brown with AquaCal Autopilot, and I've snuck you in here today to show you the secret programming codes to hook up AquaCal heat pumps to external controllers. Watch and learn. Now that we're in a secure enough location, I'm going to show you how to hook up your wires to the piece of hardware you'll be working with inside of the AquaCal. This is the ECP0005. This is the control board that runs the entire heat pump. And this is where you'll be connecting the wires from your external controller to. Pay attention. For two wire controllers like the Jandy Aqualink or the new Autopilot Commander, you're going to run your wires to Y and Z. As you can see right there, you're just going to connect them right up in there to Y and Z. And again, that's for two wire controllers such as the Autopilot Commander and the Jandy Aqualink. Okay, here we are at the AquaCal Autopilot touchpad where I'm going to show you the super secret codes of how to hook this up to an external controller and have it respond. First we're going to hook up a two wire controller such as an Autopilot Commander or a Jandy Aqualink. What you do first is you take your desired temperature and turn it all the way down keep going until it says off. You hit your pool spa selector switch. Make sure they're both say off. On this one we're good to go. Now when you start programming the first thing you're going to do is hit your up and down arrow key and you're going to hold those until you see CF1. Then you start hitting your pool spa selector switch until you get to LOC. And then you hit your up arrow key. And you hold that until you get to the secret code of 50. 50. And then hit your pool spa key until you see J A O. Then you hit your up arrow key. And you have three selections. You have 0, 2, and 3. For the two wire controller, you're going to set it at 2. Once you do that, you're going to let the heat pump reset to desired temperature, which takes about 10 to 15 seconds. This unit is now programmed to respond only to a two wire controller such as the Autopilot Commander or the Jandy Aqualink. For a three-wire controller that has a pool, spa, and off setting, you're going to use the X, the Y, and the Z terminals to hook up to. Your common wire is going to go to the middle Y connection. Your high wire is going to go to X, and your low wire is going to go to Z. Or in other terms, it's going to be the common in the middle, the pool on the Z, and the spa on the X. Again, this is for three wire controllers that have a spa, pool, and off position. Now I'm going to show you how to program this to respond to a three-wire controller where you're using X, Y, and Z. Again, this is for a three-wire controller where you have X, Y, and Z common on comp pools and sometimes the aqua switch. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take your desired temperature for the pool and you're going to set it where the homeowner wants it. Then you're going to let it reset back to water temperature. Now you're going to switch over to your pool mode, your spa mode. 
and you're going to raise that temperature. to the correct desired temperature. And now we're going to set up the three wire controller. So again, we start by hitting the up and down arrow key. We hold those until we see CF1. Now hit your pull spa key until you get to LOC. Now your up arrow key Hold that until you get to 50. Then your pull spa key until you get to JAO again. And now you're going to hit your up arrow key and you're going to set it for 3. And now you're just going to let it reset till it gets back to water temperature. For external controllers that only have a pool and spa selection, you're going to go to the FS2 terminal on the control board and you're going to hook it into it with spade connectors from your universal controller. These types of units are ones like AquaCal's 0097TS, the universal controller for a pool and spa. These are connections you will use. FS2. Two. All right, now the final way to program it to respond to an external controller. This will be when your connections are at FS2 on the control board. And what we're going to do is we're going to set our desired temperature first for the pool. Then we're going to switch over to our spa mode. We're going to set our desired temperature for the spa. Now that our desired temperatures are set, we're going to go ahead and program it. You're going to hit the up and down arrow key until you see CF1. You're going to hit the pool spa selector switch until you get to LOC. You're going to hit your up arrow key and hold that until you get to 50. Yeah. Then you're going to hit the pool spa selector switch until you see FS2. Then you're going to hit your up arrow key until it says 1. And then you're going to let it reset until it's back to desired temperature. This was Robert Brown with AquaCal Autopilot showing you how to hook up external controllers to our super secret hardware and letting you in on our ultra top secret codes on how to run an AquaCal heat pump with an external controller. If you have any questions, call me at 727-823-5642. Now get out in the field and hook up those controllers. You can find your own way out.